Welcome to Manchester United News Channel, your daily source for exclusive updates on the club. Subscribe now and stay one step ahead with the latest information about Manchester United. Don't waste any time, click the subscribe button and stay updated on everything happening with our club. Let's get to the news. Manchester United have set their sights on AC Milan's wonderkid, Francesco Camada. The 16-year-old striker who recently made his first team debut for the Rossoneri is hailed as one of the brightest talents to emerge from their academy. Excitement brews as reports surface that both Manchester United and Manchester City have made contract offers to the young star. However, fans' hopes are tempered by the reality that a move to the Premier League this summer is unlikely. The obstacle? Brexit regulations. Current rules prevent Premier League clubs from signing foreign players under the age of 18, putting a significant roadblock in the way of United's pursuit of Kamada. In the midst of this, Gazzetta dello Sport reveals a promising development for Milan. The Rossoneri are reportedly close to finalising a three-year professional deal with Kamada. This agreement would see him training with the first team while playing for their under-23 squad in Serie C next season. United's tradition of nurturing young talents from foreign leagues is well known. Take Alejandro Garnacho, for instance, who joined the club at 16 and has since become a fixture in the starting lineup. However, the new Brexit rules have made such acquisitions increasingly challenging. While clubs like Chelsea and Manchester City have adapted by securing pre contract agreements with South American prospects, the Red Devils might need to explore similar strategies. Yet, it's doubtful that Milan would entertain a pre-contract arrangement for Kamada, given his immense potential. Kamada's performance this season has been nothing short of impressive, with 13 goals and for assists in 42 appearances across all competitions. His current market value is already pegged at €10 million, Euros, a figure likely to rise as he gains more experience and regular playtime. United's inability to secure Kamada's services this summer is a setback. The club and its fans can only watch as the young prodigy continues to develop and possibly elevate his stature even further in the world of football. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all the exclusive news about Manchester United. Don't miss any detail about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Manchester United fans. In a move that's sure to ignite a firestorm of reactions from fans and critics alike, Manchester United has confirmed the return of Mason Greenwood to the team. The young forward, who had been loaned out to La Liga club Hetafe for the 2023-24 season, is set to rejoin the Red Devils, marking a significant turn in his tumultuous career. This announcement comes after a period of intense scrutiny and controversy surrounding Greenwood, who has been both a prodigious talent and a figure of immense public debate. Greenwood, who first made waves by becoming United's youngest ever goalscorer in European competition at just 17, saw his career come to an abrupt halt in January 2022. His arrest on serious charges, including rape and assault, led to a suspension from Manchester United and a prolonged absence from both club and international football. Despite the charges being dropped in February 2023, the shadow of these allegations loomed large over his professional life, with Manchester United conducting their own investigation before eventually deciding to reintegrate him into the squad. The decision to bring Greenwood back has not been without its challenges and detractors. When United announced in August 2023 that they were in the final stages of deliberating his future, it sparked widespread public and internal dissent. Critics, including domestic violence charities and political figures, voiced their opposition, highlighting the potential repercussions on the club's reputation and the message it sends regarding issues of domestic abuse. Despite these concerns, the club has now chosen to proceed with his return, a move that will undoubtedly be dissected by both supporters and adversaries. Greenwood's loan to Hetafa was seen as an opportunity for him to rebuild his career away from the intense spotlight of English football. He made a notable impact in La Liga, with his performances drawing mixed reactions, balancing between his undeniable talent and the ever-present controversy of his past. His time in Spain appears to have paved the way for his return to Old Trafford, where the club is hoping he can start anew and focus on his on-field contributions. The decision to reinstate Mason Greenwood has sparked a wide array of opinions among Manchester United supporters. How do the fans feel about welcoming back a player who has been embroiled in such serious allegations? 
Are they ready to move past the controversy, or do they feel the club's actions have overlooked significant moral and ethical considerations? The voice of the fans will be crucial in shaping the atmosphere around Greenwood's return. Many supporters are likely grappling with mixed emotions. On one hand, Greenwood's undeniable talent and potential make him an asset on the field. His goals and performances have been pivotal in past matches, and his return could bolster United's attacking options significantly. But can fans separate the player's abilities from the off-field issues that have cast a shadow over his career? How do they reconcile their desire for on-field success with the principles they hold dear? There is also the question of trust. Can the fan base trust Greenwood to stay out of trouble and focus solely on his football? His time away from Manchester United has been marked by attempts to rebuild his image and career, but the lingering doubts remain. What will it take for Greenwood to regain the full trust of the fans? And are there specific actions or apologies that supporters expect to see from him to believe in his redemption? Finally, the broader impact on Manchester United's image cannot be ignored. The club has a global following, and decisions made at the top resonate far beyond the local fan base. How do international supporters view this move? Is there a risk that the club's reputation could be tarnished, or do they believe that giving Greenwood a second chance aligns with values of forgiveness and rehabilitation? The perspectives of United's diverse and widespread fan base will be critical in understanding the full implications of Greenwood's return. As Greenwood prepares to don the Manchester United jersey once again, the football world watches with bated breath. Will he rise above his troubled past and fulfil the immense potential he once showed? Or will the weight of his history prove too heavy a burden? One thing is certain, Mason Greenwood's return is set to be one of the most talked-about stories in the coming football season, a narrative filled with redemption, controversy, and the quest for a second chance. Hey there, supporter! Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Manchester United. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.